Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome to what is a new series for me. What I wanted to do was basically go through a few players that have stood out in, you know, in the past that haven't got legend cards at the moment that could be possibles for FIFA 15. Um, so I'm just interested in seeing the different types of cards that we could possibly get. Um, but first off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, check out the FIFA shop.co.uk and make sure you use that code LA5TY to get yourself a nice 5% discount and uh, the link you need is down below in the description and with every order comes the chance to win a million coins and if you enjoyed this series please do smash a like on the video let's try and hit 2000 shall we that would be epic so without further ado let's move on to our first legend who is going to be Eric Cantona Oh yes, the big Frenchman who everyone knows for playing at Man United. I believe that's where he sort of ended his career um, and what a card he could possibly be. Now, Eric Cantona is actually in the Classic 11 on FIFA, so um, I've sort of tried to look at his stats a little bit, but these are the sort of stats that I would give him. Obviously, they're probably heightened a little bit too far, um, but this is the sort of card I'd love to see on Ultimate Team, whether his stats would be anything really like that. Uh, it's just a different thing. Um, uh, in, in hindsight, when looking back, I gave him five-star skills based on what the Classic 11 gave, but I actually think, looking back on that, that they give every player five-star skills. So, um, probably somewhere between four or five. We can all hope that it's five-star skills, but what a card that would be, because he's like six foot two uh, and has a good, you know would have a good weak foot and all of that sort of stuff. So, that would just be an incredible card. I'd love to see Cantona. I love French players on Ultimate Team and he would just go down extremely well in my books. I'd love it. So let's move on to the second player, shall we? Roberto Carlos. Oh, yes, the Brazilian left back. Oh, what a god he is. We all love Roberto Carlos, and we all sort of know him um, from that crazy free kick that he scored against France, which just for the longest period of time looked like it was going wide past the post, and then for some reason it just curled right back in. He was an absolute master at all of that stuff. I wanted to give him like 99 shots and stuff like that, um, just just because, but I haven't. This is the sort of card that I would give him, uh, and those stats are crazy. Like I don't reckon EA would ever really give out something that good, but if, it, if they did, that card would go for an absolute absolute fortune uh, i just have a lot of fun like making the graphical stuff for all of this series and stuff so i hope you do enjoy it um whether the stats would ever pan out like anything like that is just you know it's just a it's just something fun, you know. Uh, he was rapid, you know. He obviously um, was a great left back, but he pushed up the pitch quite a lot. So no doubt his passing and dribbling and all that sort of stuff would be fairly high as well. Let's move on to the final player. This is the one player that I would absolutely do anything for on Ultimate Team. Uh, it's probably one of my favourite players ever, and it is the real Ronaldo, I'm going to call him. R9 Ronaldo. I've given him a 95 rating. Now, that would probably be somewhere like 93 or 94, um, but I love the guy. I mean, I saw him once like in real life when I went to uh, Inter Milan when he was playing for Inter and uh, watched Ipswich play uh, in the UEFA Cup back in the day and we got absolutely slaughtered. I think Christian Vieri scored a hat-trick against us, but Ronaldo did come on and I was just like... Uh, it was the best moment of my life. I absolutely loved it. I bought like an Inter shirt with Ronaldo on the back and it was just incredible. But let's just get back onto topic. The card that I would give him is roughly this. You know, it's going to have incredible pace. Uh, if you've ever seen any clips of Ronaldo back in the day when he wasn't quite as chubby as he as he is or has been of recent times, he was a lightning quick. I've never really seen anyone uh, in modern day football that can just obliterate people for pace like he could. Uh, obviously, um, he's Brazilian. He's got world-class dribbling and all this sort of stuff, and he knew where the back of the net was. Uh, he would have incredibly high finishing and all that sort of stuff on his card and would just be an absolute boss. Everyone would love him. Five-star skills, five-star weak foot. You know the sorts of things that Ronaldo pulled off in the day uh, and how good he was on both of his feet. So uh, that's Ronaldo. I'd love to see it. And that Him and probably Zidane are the two players that I would I would do absolutely anything for an ultimate team. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of the series. Now, uh, what you can do, I want to get you guys involved because if you have, I'm going to do each episode where I base it around three different players players so what you need to do is on your screens right now who should be in the next video what I want you guys to do is leave a comment with your choice 
of three players. Now, obviously, they can't um, be legends that are currently on FIFA. You know, I don't want any Figos, Romarios, all of that sort of stuff because they're there already. So let's have three legendary players that are not currently on FIFA that you would love to see. Uh, and the one which gets the most thumbs up, so this is going to be uh, all of you guys getting involved, I will do the next episode on. So... Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed, let's smash 2,000 likes. That would be really great. Uh, and, I, yeah, just cheers for watching, lads, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.